Grade 12 Physics, Dynamics, note number 6, Connected Objects. So in this note, we're going to look at two types of connected objects. The first one's called an Atwood's machine, and the second will be called a Fletcher's trolley. An Atwood's machine is basically a pulley with two masses draped over it. We always assume that the string connecting them is massless, and the pulley has no inertia. This is basically an old mass or weighing system that they used to use to figure out the weights of things. So in, let's do an example here. Let's say we have an Atwood's machine set up like so. So it'll be just like the diagram we drew before. Mass one on the left, mass two on the right. Mass one will be 5.3 kilograms. Mass two will be 5.6 kilograms. Now because mass 2 is heavier, we should expect it to accelerate in that direction. So we're going to try and de determine the acceleration and the tension in the string. So we always, in these questions, want to make the acceleration direction positive. That will keep things simple in our math. And the other thing we want to do is basically we want to set up a system of equations for each of the masses that are moving. So let's draw a free body diagram for mass 1. We, in order to do that, we know that the acceleration is in that direction. So mass 1 will be moving up. So there's a force of gravity there, M1g. Tension is in the up direction, and there's the acceleration. So if we make an equation for it based on F equals ma, we'll get tension subtract M1g equals M1a. So there's our equation for mass 1. We'll call that equation 1. Let's do one for mass 2. Again, force of gravity down, so M2G is down. Tension is pointing up, but we know it's accelerating down. So M2G will be in the positive direction. So we'll get M2G minus T equals M2A. There's our second equation. We have two equations with two unknowns. So now we want to solve for acceleration, and to do that, we're going to use elimination. We're going to add the first equation to the second equation. So we're going to write them out here to line them up. Now we notice we add everything in front of the equals and everything beside, behind the equals. Here the tensions will cancel, so we get M2G minus M1G equals M1A plus M2A. We can factor out the A on the back side of the equal sign. And now we can solve for it. We can find that A is 0 0.27 meters per second squared. So now we can choose equation 1 or equation 2 to solve for tension. Here we'll choose equation 1. So we'll write out equation 1 again, knowing what our acceleration is. Rearrange for tension. Insert our numbers and then we should find that tension is 53.4 newtons. Okay, now we're going to do an, ex uh, an example with a Fletcher's trolley. So let's say the following um, Fletcher's trolley is going to be set up and it looks like this. Basically it's just an Atwood's machine where one of the objects is placed on a shelf. And we know the acceleration has to be in the direction that's over the edge of the shelf. Sometimes it'll be a cart, sometimes it'll have friction. In this case, it'll be a cart with no friction. So let's say this one is set up here. We'll draw another diagram. So there's our cart on top over the inertialist pulley. M1 is on top, 8.5 kilograms. M2 is hanging over the edge, 10.5 kilograms. Acceleration will be in that direction. We want to determine the acceleration of the system and the tension in the string. So we're going to do it almost in the exact same fashion as an Atwood's machine. We want to look at each of the objects, make an equation, and then solve for the unknown. So here's M1. It has tension pulling forward. Fg and normal force are going to cancel, so we're not going to worry about those. So F equals Ma, which is basically going to be T equals M1A. Now for the second one, here's the object hanging over the edge. We have M2G hanging over the edge. 
That is our FG and then tension up. We know the acceleration is down, so we'll call the FG, the M2G in the positive direction, minus T equals M2A. So there's our second equation. Again, um, to solve for acceleration, we're going to add the two equations together to do an elimination. So let's write out those equations to line them up. Again, we're going to add everything in front of the equal sign and everything behind the equal sign. The tensions, again, will cancel when we add them. So we get M2G equals M1A plus M2A. We can factor out that A and then solve for it. So here we find that acceleration should be equal to 5.42 meters per second squared. We should notice that acceleration should never be higher than 9.8. That should be impossible in these questions. If it is, you've done something wrong. Now let's solve for tension. So let's use equation 1 because it's smaller. So just tension equals M1A. We found the A before, so it's just 8.5 times 5.42 which is equal to 47.1 newtons.